Hello guys and welcome back to Rage for Gaming as you can possibly see. Today I'm gonna be playing a game called TDU1 Test Drive Unlimited. It's a game that I've played a, a lot back in my childhood and well not a lot. I played TDU2 a little bit more but I am absolutely I'm very happy. I'm very happy to play this game again. So um, I still don't remember some things. I remember that scene where you have to select your character, but some of the scenes I don't really remember them. Like, we can choose, uh, can't see, choose. Gonna go with, uh, this guy, so. Is it the black one or. Or the black one or this guy? Let's go with this guy, come on. Alright, well, so we're gonna go with this guy. And yeah, <laughs> it's just. Oh, I remember that music. So the story of this game is like you're going, I think, to Hawaii or Honolulu. I don't really remember. And there uh, you just buy cars, you race, you buy a home, you. And yeah, it, it just doesn't have as much things as TDU2 has. Um, TDU2, you can go casino, you can go, you can do whatever you want. But for now, we're gonna stick up with Test Driver Limited One, which we're gonna play right now. So um, yeah, got some plan to play also TDU2. And uh, yeah, for now we're gonna play this game, and then we're gonna move back to Splinter Cell, and then we're gonna go back to the TDU games. But for now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will be shortly commencing we our arrived to Honolulu. The temperature in Honolulu, on the ground yeah. is 77 it's Honolulu. degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies and 55% humidity. Right, as I told you, we're gonna make something like four to five videos on this game, and um, then we're gonna. Yeah, cheers, huh? Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna make uh, around 4 to 5 videos uh, on this game. Then move up to Splinter's, uh, I think, Care Series it is. And then we are going to go to the U2. But uh, for now, so we arrived, we've got a um, bit of a thing right here to help us move the luggage. But, um, oh my god, you see that Lambo? Rent a car, so. From now on, I just don't remember anything. I am sorry about that, but I don't remember anything. Alright, welcome to Hawaii. Before you start, you have to rent a car. Go ahead and choose. Unfortunately, it can't be in line. Uh, because uh, Atari has broken... Has closed the servers for this game. I think they still have the servers open for Test Drive Unlimited 2. But for now, this is the Audi. Um, we have the Audi S4 Cabriolet. Um... As uh, a suggestion, uh, we have the Chevrolet SSR, um, which I don't really like, and we have the Lotus Elise, which is the one that I'm gonna go with, of course. I just, I just like it. It's, I think it's the best looking car, and also I think it's the fastest one. So you see, like 4.9 seconds to reach 100 kilometers, it's very good, and it's just, yeah, it seems like a very, very fast car. So it's a 20 minute one, uh, 20 minutes or no, 10 minutes. Um, let's go with 10 minutes, why not? Um, so yeah, we just rent, we just rented our first car. That's a that's a pretty good step, you know. I gotta say, uh, yeah, it's a lot of release. Um, I got to fix the controls because they're fucked up at the moment. I bet they, I bet they are. Well, wait, <laughs> I just press acceleration with. I'm gonna get my gamepad and I'm gonna be back on. Alright, uh, wait a bit, wait, alright, I think, I think they are pretty well, okay, that's the map, that's how you change camera, camera views, okay, I'm gonna go with, uh, the first person one, I still got to fix some things like the handling and stuff, but, you know, um, handling, uh, I'm gonna say I missed that game a lot, those arcades are stuck in your head, like, they're stuck, you just can't forget those games, it's just, they, uh, they make you feel, um, something like special to your heart, like, I played this game a lot, I remember it, uh, from when I was like 4 to, 4 years old to 5 years old, something like that, but I've been playing this game, I have loved this game, it was one of the games I used to play a lot in my childhood, and, um, yeah, that's what we that's what we're doing probably in this area, playing some old games that I used to play. And now I haven't played them for ages, and now we're playing them again. That's just, you know, amazing, really. I 
was an idea. That's yeah. But everything's going alright, gotta say. I really like the handling. It's I, I, I think it's better than in TDU2. Um, to be more realistic in TDU2, to be more arcade. But yeah, we're gonna make a bit of a comparison with those two in the next coming uh, months, I gotta say. Because it's, I'm not gonna upload retro gaming that, that often, just to let you know. I have more pri more have more priorities to racing games and probably FIFA and stuff but um, yeah we just reached a, a place in which we can buy our first house so um, we can buy our first house here it's a real estate um, and yeah pretty much uh, uh, we're gonna choose our house there's a price and you can see also the capacity there's a capacity of uh, vehicles uh, uh, you can put it in your garage, and uh, this one in Alamana. That seems a bit more like luxury. From then on, we cannot like um, look at those houses. Look at those houses! Oh my god! I remember back in the day, I had um, I had the, the the house which cost three hundred thousand something. So it was probably uh, I was probably the house that I most liked. And we're gonna go. Um, you know, they're both the same price, but I don't know why. But I. Uh, I like a little bit more this one because in this one there are a lot of people living and but in this one it's all mine so not enough money what are you talking about what are you talking about no oh, cheers okay uh, so we're gonna go with this co with this house I'm gonna buy this house um, and yeah it seems like it's deal done <laughs> Robin Roger estate agent oh my god I still remember that but yeah, we just got our, we just bought our, f our first house. I don't know if we're gonna buy any more houses. Um, my target for this area, for those four or five videos that we're gonna upload on this game, it really depends on your support. If we have a great support, I couldn't even make ten videos. It depends on you. Yeah, post in the comment section below if you want me to upload more videos like this on TDU1, or if you want me to move on to new, on to new, on to new retro games so like Splinter Cell, Cast Fury and TDU2 and you know all that stuff go check the informing video that I uploaded back in the day for retro gaming but um, now we're gonna choose our first uh, car I've just returned the, uh, the Lotus Elise and there was some where there were three um, car mess vehicle merchandises and that I could uh, buy a car from, but I chose uh, the Alfa Romeo because I'm a bit of an Italian car fan, I gotta say. So there was a really, really good car uh, that I, I think it was a 4C or the 8C. But um, right uh, now, uh, we're choosing cars, so yeah. We're choosing cars at the moment. Uh, we're on the Alfa Romeo GT, I believe it is. Um, which is a, a really good car, I just uh, really like it. When I, whenever I see it in road, uh, on roads, I... <laughs> I admire it. I think it's a very nice car, but we're now on the tire rims. Now the color, it's a good color. Oh, that that Ross Sienna. That Ross Sienna is like a special car. I don't know why. I just like it a lot. I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna go. I think uh, you might not even like it, but we'll see. Like, yeah, I, I, I bet you're gonna like it. The Ross Sienna is really good. The interior. Um, what have I just done? All right, cheers. The interior. Um, you know, the, the grey and black colors are a bit more sports, sportic. Uh, I'm also a sport guy, but I know a lot of you are going to hate me about this, but I've gone for the light color, I don't know why, I just, I just like a little bit more those light colors in the interior of the car for some weird reason, but we just bought our first very cool, just right test it out, if you the right car, yes, the best way to check it out is to test it against other drivers for your GPS direction to start of the race. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go and follow the GPS, what the GPS says, and yeah, I bet we're gonna do our first ever race, so let's get there. Turn right. I don't really, it seems really good. Great, great acceleration. There you go, we are. We have just reached the destination that we were meant to go at, and um, we have it! Um, we're here, what do we do now? Race? Apparently. Alright, uh, enter. 
group F. So I bet that's uh, we we're just doing race with the worst cars that we can probably find. <laughs> um, but for now, uh, let's start off our first ever race in TD1 after so many years. Two, one, and we're off. Come on, get us to decent start. Have decent start. What is William doing? Oh my god, <laughs> what was that? Anyways, um, already up into P2. We stop into the end, and now we're into P1. Already into P1. <laughs> oh my god, this this first episode, this first race, this first episode, I'm gonna be so freaking easy. Can already say you, I'm already getting bored bored of this. I might even skip some races. The first video's like, I'm gonna play a bit on my own and buy some cars, and then we're gonna play like. This is so easy, like you see, absolute dominance, absolute dominance as you can already see. Already first, and just <laughs> I hope I hope the difficulty is gonna get it hard more and more, like because that was that. If that's the case, that that was pretty easy, I gotta say. But yeah, we get, we also get you also get a lot of money from TDU, like um, like. If you, you you see, I just Your won one of the easiest races on the game, and it just got five thousand dollars. You can just get, you just, just you can just gain money so easily in TDU, like you can just race money so easily in TDU. It's just freaking <laughs> amazing. Look at how house we are at the moment. Um. So yeah, um, I just want to see like what do we have in the house. So in the house apparently it's something like a menu. You can see news. Um, uh, you can see the news like how many cars you've bought and stuff like this. Looks like it's collection. That's, that might be the, the collection. But game progress. There you can see what you are. If you're a rookie, if you're someone like at the great level. <laughs> but um, the single player. Why you've done in single player race one. There you go. You can see your medals and stuff, and right, uh, yeah, we could just uh, we could just exit the house pretty much. We're now really, really ready to spend some rubber. If you're online, you now have access to all multiplayer features. Now open the map of the island to see your new objective. Unfortunately, as I've already told you, Atari has closed all the servers for this game, and you just have them on TV YouTube for the moment. There are also speculations about the TDU3 game. I'm just, I'm just really hyped about that, and I, I hope that we're gonna have this game um, ready till uh, E3, probably in 2018 or 2019. Gonna uh, have some announcements from Atari. But now it's our second race. We have some more opponents. We have, you know, the tough, tough. So, now the TT. Um, yeah, I really hope um, we can actually beat them again. Already up into P4, as you can possibly see. Now turn left for this corner. Go, you see, like the AI breaks so early. Oh, I'm already up into P2, and now I got a Vienna again. How, how do we pronounce it? Mate? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Look it up later. Later on in the, in the internet bar. Stuck in P2 at the moment. Uh, we're gonna try and make a move on of Vienna very, very soon. Closing it in. Probably now onto that corner, onto the left corner. We make a move. We also use the use the handbrake, and we're already to P1. Nice and nice and easy. Coming across the finish line, it's another win as you can possibly see. And yeah, pretty much made it again. Cool drive as you can possibly see. I'm the, I'm a really good driver. I'm just joking. Five thousand dollars again. Just give me, give me the money. Give me the money, Atari. There's no problem. Give me as much money as you want for those silly easy races. Oh my god. Next stop. You might be wondering what is that? It's pretty easy to understand. Um, it's like a time trial. So. Um, you have checkpoints, uh, you have two laps, and you just race until you get a good lap. That's how it is. 
Easy peasy. Mistake right here. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. So there you have it now, turning left for this corner, once again I'm making a mistake right here, but I'm um, gonna cover the lines, just another easy, another easy mission, uh, return on investment, how much money are you gonna give him for that now? 5,000, okay, it's the same thing, but we're just gaining money, we're just gaining money after race after race, uh, time trial after time trial, but now it's a bit of a different one. Um, hey, thanks for stopping. Oh, yeah, I remember totally those ones. Um, Could you give me a lift? It's the ones that um, uh, you actually find celebrities or famous people. They ask for a lift and you get them wherever you want to get them. <laughs> wherever they want to get you. Go! To get them. I can't speak properly. It's real. Today is not one day. Um, but yeah, uh, something strange about that. Um, just letting you know. Uh, I forgot actually how to do those missions. Um, I was going very okay, slowly, and you're all gonna be like, "Why did you go slowly?" I thought that you have to change line. I thought that had to be perfect in terms of. Don't be so angry, mate. I thought I thought like you had to be like on the on your line. You have to stop on on traffic lights uh, because you had a bit of a bar right here on the left uh, hand side. Um, it had 60 60 percent and stuff like this. And I was like, uh, what, what was that? And so I, I had to do that, but apparently, it still matter. I just had to push as much as I want. Um, here, I just thanks. didn't have to put them out of track, uh, put the, the car out of track, and don't crash to anybody. So that was pretty much it. You see that we made it. The next one, they're actually 30 top models, top model um, uh, objectives right here, so we could probably make that in the rewards. Uh, we don't get money. Uh, that's 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 bullshit. That's bull crap right here for you. We just got a um, bit of um, discount for clothes. That's what she gave me. Right. All right. And also those ones uh, called Hit Hikers. Give me a ride a little ways. How many loads? Like it smells like going up and down and he ain't talking. I don't know what's up with him though. Pretty strange guy but those are the hitchhiker missions, I believe they call like that. And uh, yeah it's pretty much the same kind of thing and you still have time, you got checkpoints and yeah. You gotta be careful not to go off track or not to cross to other people. And this pretty much up that's pretty much the whole case. Like uh, I know you're gonna I, I bet you're gonna be bored but as the cars go up the rank and we buy better cars, we're gonna have a lot of fun, I can already guarantee you. Alright, there you go. That's our first Polish persuasion apparently. Shit. Yeah, um I was pretty much talking about. Uh, I also wanna tell you I'm not gonna upload the retro game that often. But I'm never gonna forget it, like I'm never gonna just leave it. Because I want to blow more factor and hey, there you have it. Do you know what? what the fuck? You didn't even let me enjoy the cross. Oh no! Alright, uh, beautiful mistake. I was pushing a lot and I just bumped to the back of the truck. <laughs> yeah. That was really want to see um, Next up, um, try it again. <laughs> Got nothing to lose. Let's just try it again. And yeah, I was talking about retro gaming. Nah, I'm not gonna blow that often because I want to upload. More F1 and more F factor, you know, things like this. Okay, fuck off. Just 
0 0.5 miles away and we crossed into the barrier. Like, I was so close, but don't do that. Don't do fucking... Oh my goodness me. 5 freaking percent. I could have just lost. I could have lost. Oh my god. <laughs> That was so close, that was so freaking close, but yeah, it's called Hitchhiker's Missions, and we got out 1 out of 20 for now. So yeah, it's a huge map uh, here in Titiula 1. You're in the whole, like, Honolulu Island, and there are missions Bonjour, everywhere. No? My bags, Absolutely very heavy everywhere. And I tire. Now we're doing one of those... That you bring me? My friend, she lives near. No, I'm pizza. I'm Italian, I'm gonna speak like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, yeah, top model mission. Um, we just started off, and uh, yeah, we want to do the same thing and hope we can uh, make it this time. First try. Car across the line, cross the line. Yeah, parking the car, I should say. Ciao, ciao, bella. I speak a bit of Italian, you know. But two, okay, perfect. Perfection, Perf perfect gives you plus one. That's really amazing from Atari. It's just amazing. Got you got to admit. You see, we get perfect. Yay! <laughs> Celebrations. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Play a game, which is absolutely is it. This is easier than every than anything else in the Starfield. Yeah, I got a needless lesson very soon, so let's get on with this episode. Um, so yeah, I was starting another race, and this one is a pretty hard race. We got a Jaguar Racing, got um, Nissan 370Z Racing, so it's gonna be pretty hard to win. We got also got a Mercedes right here. Just bumped the Jaguar and just put him off track. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, it's gonna be a pretty hard race. Cars are a little bit harder, a little bit faster. So you're gonna find a little bit more, find a little bit more pace mode to beat them. Look at this! Oh, the jump that was perfect. What the fuck? Oh my god! The same mistake as team. I just ran wide and we're off the track now. Sarin's leading the way. What is Mercedes? He's just gone off the track. He just didn't go off the, off the, off the bridge. What was that? <laughs> oh my god, the AI is so silly in this game, I can already tell. <laughs> Mumbles. Okay, uh, firstly it's found on TDU1. That was right on the finish line. Apparently I hit on, hit on the, an invisible police car. I don't know how, don't ask me. I ain't know. Oh, this time 7,000. Oh, thank you. Well, that was great. We're getting more and more money. Apparently, next probably a couple of episodes, we're gonna buy a faster car. <laughs> Who knows? What type of car? I, I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but, um, final race of this episode. This is gonna be my final race. I'm not going to make any more races. I'm just gonna close off the video. I'm sorry this video was a bit big, but I just want to include every single thing that everything. No, I've done on this on my first day on TDU one after so many ages. I was so like happy editing this. Uh, I remember back my childhood when I was playing this game, and it just felt really nostalgic. Coming across the line, as you can possibly see now, um, it's going to be another first position. And yeah, we just want more money. We just want another race. We haven't lost a single race already in this series, and I'm really happy to say that we are uh, started off successfully on this game, but. Um, yeah, I'm planning on doing an, an informing video, a small informing video, something like 5 minute video. I'm just talking about a little bit on FIFA and how I'm going to reduce a bit the content on that and construct racing. But until then, that was it for today, guys. If you enjoy Smash Like Button, you can subscribe, subscribe, follow Twitter and Instagram, ask me anything you want to ask me, fam. Yeah, till next one, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.